Hi, chào các bạn Hôm nay chúng ta sẽ cùng đọc một câu chuyện hết sức dễ thương về hai chú chó nhỏ trong cuốn sách có tên là Boot and Shoe của tác giả Marla Frazee Nào, chúng ta cùng bắt đầu thôi Boot and Shoe were born into the same litter and now they live in the same house They eat dinner out of the same bowl. They pee on the same tree. At night, they sleep in the same bed. But Boo spends his days on the back porch because he's a back porch kind of dog. And Shu spends his days on the front porch because he's a front porch kind of dog. This is exactly perfect for both of them. Then, one day, for no apparent reason, a squirrel started some trouble. It chattered at boot. It chattered at shoe. It threw stuff at boot. It threw stuff at shoe. And then it got all up in boot's business. And it got all up in shoe's business too. Wow, something had to be done. So boot and shoe chased that squirrel all over the place. They chased it and chased it and chased it until it got bored and walked away. Boot collapsed. Shoe collapsed too. When Boot opened his eyes, he saw that he was on the front porch. He looked around for Shoe. Shoe should be here. But he wasn't. Oh no. When Shu opened his eyes, he saw that he was on the back porch. He looked around for Boot. Boot should be here. But he wasn't. Oh no. Boot searched the front porch for Shu. He looked under things, over things, around things, and between things. No luck. Chu such the back porch for boot. He looked under things, over things, around things, and between things. No luck for him either. Boot decided to station himself on the front porch and wait there until Shu found his way back. And Shu decided to station himself on the back porch and wait there until Boot found his way back. It was a long, lonely afternoon. When it was dinner time, Boots' stomach rumbled, but he didn't want to eat dinner without Shu. Shu's stomach rumbled too, but he didn't want to eat dinner without Boot. It was a long, hungry evening. At bed time, Boot was shivering, but he didn't want to get in bed without Shu. Shu was shivering too, but he didn't want to get in bed without Boot. Once during the night, Boot walked slowly around to the back porch to see if Shu was there. 
and Chu walked slowly around to the front porch to see if Boot was there. But no luck again. So Boot ended up back on the front porch waiting for Chu, and Chu ended up back on the back porch waiting for Boot. It was a long, sleepless night. The sun came up. On the front porch, there was still no sign of Shu. Boot began to cry. On the back porch, there was still no sign of Boot. Shu began to cry too. But even in the worst of times, a dog still needs to pee. Boot dragged himself over to the tree. Shu dragged himself over to the tree too. And suddenly, lo and behold, there they were again. Overjoyed to see each other, overtired too. So even though the day was just beginning, Boot and Shu decided that the exact perfect thing for both of them to do was go right to bed. Together. Of course. Các bạn có thấy câu chuyện này hết sức đáng yêu chưa nè? Hẹn gặp lại các bạn vào lần sau. Chào tạm biệt. Cảm ơn các bạn đã lắng nghe. Mong rằng các bạn cảm thấy thú vị khi đọc cuốn sách này cùng tụi mình. Cuốn sách nói với The Long Book này được thực hiện bởi Lotus Community là một dự án thư viện phí lợi nhuận. Lotus Community mong muốn những cuốn sách tiếng Anh chất lượng tốt có thể tới tay mọi gia đình khắp đất nước Việt Nam. Để tìm hiểu thêm về dự án, các bạn vui lòng ghé qua lotuscommunity.org.vn nhé.